Hello. So another anniversary arrives. The 11th for Shitcase Cinema. That is amazing. It's kind of scary how fast time goes, isn't it? So let's not waste any more time and get into the first Shitcase Cinema Award of the past 12 months. And the first award is for the sexiest male. And the nominations are Herschel from Blood Freak, Ator from Ator, amazingly. Randy from Ghost of Camp Blood, Randall from Raiders of the Living Dead, and Jim from Humanoids from the Deep. So let's see what the sexiest male is over this past 12 months. Kind of annoying that I never make the nominations, considering that I feature in all the reviews, but hey ho. So the winner is Herschel from Blood Freak, which is kind of justifiable because the guy can turn into a turkey and he rocks the Elvis look every now and then, so congratulations to Herschel. So the next award is for the sexiest female. And your nominations are Miki, the reporter from The Lift, Sonia from Ator, this talentless actress from Ghost of Camp Blood. I'm not picking on her, they're all talentless, but you know. Susan from Humanoids from the Deep, and the sisters from the Sisterhood. Yeah, you get two for the price of one with them. So this is a good award, this is the sexiest female award. <laughs> one of my favourites. And the winner is... Susan from... Not Grim Weekend, but from Humanoids from the Deep. Let's go find Susan. Susan? We're looking for her! Susan! Now, some of you out there may remember a guy called Caveman Wayne, a complete and utter imbecile, total muppet, one of the most brainless people on the planet, and he's a friend. Um, what we used to do years ago are some videos called an interview with a caveman, just to showcase how completely stupid he is and just point out the fact that a caveman can never learn, catching him out with the same question all the time. So, as a bonus clip, I recently caught with Caveman Wayne earlier this month. Hello, guess who I've got with me here? Maggot Man, Caveman Wayne. They haven't been in for ages, so you probably don't remember him. I've got a question for Wayne though. James Khan played Sonic, Marlon Brando played Vito Corleone. Who played Vito Corleone? Sonic? What? It gets worse. It gets progressively worse. That same question you asked for years. I've never got it right. That was a different no, question. You I reworded it slightly just to confuse you. Confuse you. It's easy to confuse me. You've got to possibly imagine. Unbelievable. You actually said that one of the characters. Well, it's one of the other characters. <laughs> I'm glad I came out. <laughs> this is why we need a caveman special. So if you want a, a caveman Wayne special, Leave a comment below and we'll see what we can do. I only see him once a year, so it probably won't happen anyway. Who played Sonic? I don't know. James <laughs> Khan! I just told you! <laughs> but who played Sonic? I don't know his name. I know. I, I remember your face. No, <laughs> I just I remember told the... you, James Khan. And I got you that last time. Who played Sonic? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> now this awesome award is for the best Tash. And the nominations are Brad Grinter, a.k.a. the narrator from Blood Freak. Number two, this guy from The Lift. Number three, Griever from Ator. Number four, Slattery from Humanoids from the Deep. And number five, this stud from The Pit. So, oh, the winner for Best Tash over the last 12 months is... Brad... no. It's Griever from Ator. And he also would have won anyway regardless because of that awesome wig that he rocks. Now, just to break things up, here's some lovely words from a Shitcase Cinema random goon. Hi, Shitcase Cinema. Congratulations on 11 years. Please keep up the videos, you goon. I love it when fans call me a goon. I'm not a goon, okay, no matter what I do. You're a goon. You're the random goon. Shitcase Cinema fans are the random goons, okay? And it is an absolute honour for you to be a Shitcase Cinema random goon. So please take great pride in that title, okay? Please. An attractive shitcase cinema random goon, but anyway, I digress, where was I? So let's have some more words from another shitcase cinema random goon. The two best Johns are John Lennon and Donny Shitcase. Susan! Isn't that nice? Now let's get on to the next award. Now this next award is for Worst Acting. And the nominations are Brad Grinter, aka the narrator from Blood Freak, who needs to look down at his lines all the time. You ever think about this fantastic 
order of things. Number two, this random woman from Blood Free. Number three, this bimbo from Ghost of Camp Blood. You were going to harm us to gain ratings on your TV show. Number four, this goon from Ghost of Camp Blood. No, no. And number five, Jamie from The Pit. Trollocs. Yes, I know. What an eclectic bunch. This is a real tough one, is this? There's a lot of bad acting in the reviews that have come over the last 12 months. But the winner is... The one and only Brad Grinter from Blood Freak. And considering that the guy needs to look down at his lines all the time when he's reading... Totally makes that award justifiable. Well done, Brad. So? Let's give a little thought to making our own story <coughs> have a happy ending. <coughs> right on. Now, despite filming the clip with Caveman Wayne, Professor Bruce meant to have a segment in this video, but he conveniently forgot to send me anything. So, to make up for that, here's a clip from Shitcase Simmer's very own Maggie Man. Maggie Man here. Well, some of my favourite stuff from the last year, well, it's got to be the Raiders of the Living Dead theme tune, because after all, once you hear that once, it is stuck in your head forever. The dead are after me. See, I can't get it out of my head even now. Look at the pit. Oh my god. I don't even want to talk about it. The little boy just pushing people down a pit and, you know, sliming after his uh, babysitter. <sighs> yeah. But, um, come on, it's the 11-year anniversary. We don't just want to talk about one year, do we? We want to talk about many years. Many years from back there all the way to now. So, come on, everybody. Let's have some random moments. Stick in the comments. What is your funniest moment of John's? John Shitcase. Funniest Professor Bruce moment. Funniest Caveman Wayne moment. And I don't think I'm in them enough to really get any funny moments, am I? And I remember what you lot all said about my Incredible Hulk review, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking at you, yeah. So, uh, happy 11 years, and here's to 11 more. So this is the big granddaddy of awards here on Shitcase Cinema. It's the Shitcase Legend Award for the past 12 months. Lots of good competition, but there can only be one winner. And it is, of course, Brad Grinter from Blood Freak. Right on. Right on. Okay, guys, that's it. 11 years of Shitcase Cinema. Ooh, yeah. Now, the past 12 months, I reviewed some pretty shambolic films, I'm sure you'll agree. But films like The Pit and Raiders of the Living Dead and Blood Freak are some of the worst pieces of dirge that I have ever seen in my life. And there's nothing that I can say about them right now, other than what I said in the reviews. So, if you can't remember what they were about, go back and check out those reviews, okay? Because they are some of the worst pieces of cinematic sin that I've ever witnessed in my entire life. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for support as always. And I'll see you soon. I won't see you soon. It's just a figure of speech, but you knew that. Sayonara, ninjas. But some films like The Pit, um, Raiders of the Living Dead, um, Sisters of the... Well, I don't know what it's called now. Fuck. Now, this past 12 months, I reviewed some pretty shambolic films. Stuff like The Pit and Raiders of the Living Dead and... Blood Freak, they are some of the most pieces of... Oh, I can't even be asked. I can't even be asked.